seriously tell you thank god for mangoes to aid in our lockdown woes it's my way of marshalling the troops around here to pull their weight get work done around the house for a hearty bowl of my mango trifle before we get into it you must get into the right hand corner and subscribe to my channel for many more of these food hacks to help you in your lockdown series to start off, we've got a liter of milk with 250 ml of cream because I'm going to create a mock English trifle, but more importantly, a mock English custard. So while we bring this to a simmering boil, into this goes in 100 grams of sugar. Granulate it, just allow it to melt and sweeten this entire mix. Whisking is totally optional out here. While we allow the milk, the cream and the sugar to simmer away, melting to perfection, into another bowl I've got 200 ml of milk and my mock English custard is going to come together with some custard powder. So while I'm using vanilla custard powder and 80 grams of that, if you do not have custard powder at home, you can use some corn flour and just scent it with some vanilla essence. So while we create the perfect slurry of this mix, allowing no lump formation and just smoothening it out, you want to season this with about half a teaspoon of salt and mix everything together. Now the perfect slurry forms with cold milk and custard powder. So either you use custard powder or 80 grams of corn flour to create this. Put it into this emulsion and now slowly whisk it for the most smoothest and creamiest of custards. While the struggle of creating an English custard with egg yolks is achieved, the flavor is sharper and pronounced. While the custard forms really very fast and it thickens to the perfect consistency, now on top of it, you do not want that skin formation, but you want the richness that an English custard emulates. So out here, I've got a blob of salted butter, nice and chilled. Just put it on top and allow it to melt. As it melts, whisk it in and have that creamiest and divine custard ready. Now, while you allow your custard to chill on the side, I'm going to give you a food hack out here on how to take maximum out of the mangoes. So while I always use Alfonso, I cut the sides and I slice them in one bowl and the seed and the center pulp that's there, I just roughly chop it and more importantly, squeeze everything out to get maximum flavor right into your trifle. 45 minutes later, while you've allowed the English custard or rather, let's call it what it is, a mock lockdown custard to room temperature, all you need to do during that time is take some sponge cake. Now I have used store-bought vanilla sponge, readily available marble. But if you want to create it at home, go to my lemon tea cake and omit the lemon or just go right ahead, add the lemon and create that cake as well. So out here I've just made it into fine crumbs and that's ready to layer into the trifle. So with everything ready, it's time to get to a fabulous glass bowl, see-through cut glass, use anything or just use disposable containers if you do not want the hassle of washing. With this ready, it's time to now get to layering everything. I'm sure my entire YouTube family or every family that knows me knows that I am trifle obsessed. So while you get ready, the first thing you have to do is layer the sponge right at the bottom and go ahead and smash it down so it forms that perfect base right below. Smash it down and it's time to drizzle some sugar syrup just to moisten it a bit. So creating a sugar syrup is very simple. Four tablespoons of sugar, eight tablespoons of water. Put it into the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half till it melts. Whisk it till the sugar dissolves completely and you're ready. You can scent the sugar syrup with either some vodka or some dark rum, but that's totally optional. 
Now comes the part of adding the mock custard on top. So I like to go as random in nature as possible. So two ladles or three ladles is totally optional. Just put that and then add some mango on top. All the mangoes that you chopped up and absorbed from the sides, from the corners, squeezed a little bit of the seed to get all that juice in and that's so required for Alfonso mangoes because it's the king of fruits and it deserves to be explored right till the last drop. So just put all this in and it's time to put the next layer of sponge on top. The next layer of sponge crumbs going on top and you need to lightly nestle it with your hand. Not too much of pressure, but you want everything to hold well together. So quick tap down is what I call it. And you're gonna add some sugar syrup just so that it stays perfectly moist in the center. Try and create two or three layers so that the trifle gets its known name after that. And then pour the English custard. Three ladles of this custard. I'm slightly clumsy, but the purpose out here is to get everything done and wipe it in the end. Just attractively put the chunky mango bits and I like to put them on the side so that it's pleasing to the eye and it's my way of tricking everybody to get all the work done during this entire lockdown time. So I often do this where I put it all on the side and a little bit in the center. You don't want to cheat them after all the work that they've done. The final layer of sponge crumbs on top. Sometimes I like to set them in mason jars as well so they are individually portioned but very difficult to account for when you have sneaky people at home who go in and rob one or two. So this bowl works well and it's a treat in itself. Smash it down a bit rather tap it down lightly. You can feel the wiggle and the jiggle as you tap this down. It's time to sweeten it and moisten it as well. The last splash of sugar syrup. Four, five spoons of it just eyeball it and see how moist your sponge gets. So when you have a moist sponge, you ensure that your custard doesn't dry out. So that's a food hack in itself. Most people avoid moistening their sponge and they have a very dry custard and they keep wondering as to why their trifle is not moist. So this is one of those reasons as well. With this done, it's time to add that final layer of custard on top. Not too much because you want the sliced mangoes that you had created earlier to nestle beautifully on top, either in the form of a pyramid or a triangle or a beautiful rose right on top. Now, while I've created a very rose-driven pattern with some fans on the side. I'm just going to add a mint sprig in the center and my gorgeous mango trifle is ready. Now all one really needs to do is chill this till it's ready to be enjoyed. Having allowed this to chill for four hours, I have found the perfect weapon that is food to ensure the entire family is on check 
and my house is spick and span during this entire lockdown season. Mango trifle or any trifle works really well. The flavors are something that you really strive to enjoy during these troubled times. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to subscribe for many more of these easy gourmet food hacks. Oh, 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 oh,